This week, the Cabela's National Walleye Tour makes its final regular season stop. We're in Sturgeon Bay, arguably one of the best walleye fisheries on the planet. We've got a full field on hand, and they're fishing for a total purse worth more than $370,000. The battle for the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year is on the line, along with the last few qualifying spots for the upcoming championship. Sit back and hang on. It all starts now on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. Good morning, and of course, it's raining here in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. On day number one of our National Walleye Tour, as these anglers head out to the Bay of Green Bay. Is this going to affect the fishing? Probably not. What is going to affect the fishing is the fact that these walleyes are in transition. They're moving from their spring spots to their summer haunts. On top of that, the alewife, the main bait in this system, is moving from the deep water to the shallow water. They're meeting in between. How are the anglers going to deal with that? Let's get on the water and find out. Expecting really good results today. Um, it's been a great week of pre-fishing and um, expect to catch them today. You're going to see a lot of different things from Green Bay that you typically don't see. You know, typically we all got our trolling rods going and everything else, but I think today you're going to see a, a little different story on Green Bay. You're going to see a lot of casting, um, a lot of jigging. You're going to see multiple different baits going. Um, so it's going to be interesting. We've got a good field on hand for this two-day event. For the winner on the pro side, there's $15,000 in cash, along with an Evinrude powered Ranger 620. Also in play is the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year. Wayne Van Dyke has a slim lead over the rest of the field, but he knows that one stumble can take you out of the game. In Angler of the Year, you cannot have a bad day. If you have a bad day, you, you bomb out and, and, and it's kind of over for you. So I try and go out and, and, and get a good day, but there's gonna be a lot of change up and down in the standings, I can guarantee you that. Over on the east side, so your side will be on there. We'll put a split shot on, okay. um, let it back 30 feet, okay. and then we'll do a 20-20 with a half, okay. and then I'll run two out this side, probably a 25-25 with a half and a 30-30 with a three-quarter. Uh, we're here at day one uh, for Sturgeon Bay. Um, it's uh, a little rainy out, as you can see, um, and this is my first year as being a uh, pro. Um, I was a co-angler for uh, four years, and my fifth year I, I switched over to the pro um, side of the house and this is my third tournament on the pro side here at Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. Let's get right into day one coverage. We'll stick with Asheville, Ohio's Richard Wright. We just made a run to our first spot here and we're going to drop the crawler harnesses out and we're going to run a couple snap weights um, in to get them at cover all depths of the, uh, the water column and uh, get them out there and see if we can get some of them good walleye. This is Glidden, Wisconsin's Chase Parsons fishing with his co-angler, Bob Needles. And that is their first fish of the day. Day one of the NWT out of Sturgeon Bay. And uh, to say that the bite's been interesting is an understatement. Um, I actually live pretty much right on the bay here. And, uh, and quite frankly, we're looking for structure areas and practice, something that will hold walleyes for an extended period of time. And the ale waves are starting to come down into the bay and, and it's really messed up the structure bite. Um, there's plenty of feed for them on the structure. So we actually have found our best bite to be, unfortunately, in the mud. And what I mean by the mud is it's just the basin. Uh, there's no structure, um, but the fish seem to be located real near the bottom, which uh, this time of year they can start to suspend a little bit, but we're fishing them really deep in 22 to 30 feet of water. Um, and, it, and it's kind of boring. We're making long trolls, just trying to find a hot pot of them. We actually just caught one, so we're gonna turn back around and see if we can't get another one there. So um, just running planer boards and flicker minnows. Uh, hopefully we fall into the right ones. We're just getting started with tournament coverage from Sturgeon Bay, the final stop in the 2016 regular season of the Cabela's National Walleye Tour.
the FS Multi-Species Series from Ranger. With a host of pioneering features in every model, it's a revolutionary leap forward. Coupled with Evan Root E-Tech's unrivaled performance and up to 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance, the world of fishing will never be the same. Experience the unparalleled ride and water crushing strength of every FS hull. More than raising the bar, they're setting a whole new standard. Power your Ranger with Evinrude E-Tech. Introducing a revolutionary concept in outboards, a choice. Now with the Evinrude E-Tech G2, you can choose unrivaled performance, superior fuel economy, and the cleanest combustion outboard on the planet. Choose from hundreds of color combinations to perfectly match your boat. And choose five years or 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. Experience the power of choice at chooseyouretech.com. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low-cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24-7. Visit BoatUS.com. Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Cabela's, it's in your nature. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Lucas Oil, it works. Welcome back to day one of the National Walleye Tour from Sturgeon Bay. We'll pick up tournament coverage with Spruce Michigan's Wayne Van Dyke. It's been a little bit frustrating this morning. Uh, fish had we got here yesterday, aren't, aren't here, aren't cooperating. We had a, we had three fish on this morning, all the two two sheep is and a catfish, and no walleyes. And went through a stretch where we caught all, a lot of fish yesterday, and that's the way it's been going for us. One day they're there, next day they're not. So we're gonna pick up here. We're gonna try and move a little bit and see if we can't locate them somewhere. But it's, uh, you know, that's the way it is here in Green Bay quite often. Day one was anything but easy on the big waters of Sturgeon Bay. And back at weigh-in, out of 137 boats, there were only 21 limits brought to the scales. What's happening right now in this system is that these fish are actually feeding on alewives. The alewives are coming up to spawn, so the, you know, when they're up there spawning, these walleyes are up shallow, shallow, shallow. And so, you know, we had the bait fish spawning sounds going on the hydrowave, and, and that was the key. Mark Quartz has himself in good position for day two after weighing five for 30-28 and landing in 13th overall. Wayne Van Dyke had a rough day, weighing only two fish for just over seven and a half pounds, ending up in 76th. And back at the other end of the leaderboard, Nick Schertz locked up fifth place with a limit weighing in at 33.97. Nice job, gentlemen. Watertown, Wisconsin's Scott Roloff sacked up five for 35.71, and that was good enough for fourth. Gillette, Wisconsin's Daniel Woodkey did it right on day one, weighing in 36.71 and settling into third. Tom Keenan has won over a million dollars in his career, and it looks like he's in the hunt again, weighing a big five fish limit of 37.02 and landing in second place. Obviously, uh, we had a great day on the water today. We're in second place. Sometimes it's better than being in first. And uh, we had some really great bites today and got some big fish. And um, I think I can catch them again tomorrow. And I uh, can't wait to go fishing, to be honest with you. And standing on top at the end of day one was Cambridge, Wisconsin's Joe Okada with a monster bag of walleye. Here, look at this. He's got, a, he's got a whole crowd out there. They're videotaping him in here. And what happens now is these two gentlemen hit the stage with 38.66. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that is a first place bag at Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. Oh my word, Joe Okada on Schneeberger. With Joe Okada on top, here's a look at the Cabela's leaderboard at the end of day one. It's been a tough, really tough pre-fish all week and uh, it was just nice to get a, get a bite right away so I knew the fish were in the area and man, it, what, what an unbelievable day out on Green Bay. After a day of stiff competition, Ranger Boats rolled out the red carpet here at the lodge at Latham Smith, put on a cookout for all the anglers here. They're sharing stories of the good times and bad today and make plans for even a better tomorrow. Coming up, we'll get right into day two from Sturgeon Bay, right here on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. For the 2017 schedule, please visit nationalwalleytour.com. Arctic Ice loves the outdoors. Wherever your next adventure takes you and your cooler, use Arctic Ice to keep your food and drinks cold and dry. It's also great for keeping live wells cool, so fish and bait stay healthy. You can even keep frozen food or game frozen for days. Cold or frozen, Arctic Ice has got you covered. Three brands of Arctic Ice let you choose the temperature you want for your cooler. You never have to buy ice again. Watch the videos at arctic-ice.com. Check out our new Chill and Brew Team Sport Colors, great for tailgating. Remember, it's not just ice, it's Arctic Ice. For anglers who want it all, the new HDS-3, a revolutionary step forward in simultaneous chirp sonar and structure scan HD sonar imaging, clearer views, faster interface, multi-touch screen, keypad operation, and total boat control. Plus, with versatile networking and go-free wireless sync of maps, software, and apps, HDS-3 is the ultimate fish finding system. Wow. Find, navigate, dominate with Lowrance. Not all water is created equal. It's why Stratus builds multi-species boats to take on the pressure of the rough stuff while reinforcing comfort, confidence, and convenience. Inside, the specially engineered construction is designed for an exceptional ride and superb handling features. The Stratus Excursion Series. The right quality, the right performance, all at the right price. Forty-nine million Americans struggle to put food on the table. Please consider donating a portion of your hunt this season to help feed those in need. Find out more at ramtrucks.com. There are two kinds of people who fish. Those who simply fish and those who fish like pros. To tell them apart, just look at their engines. Pros choose Mercury because nothing beats a Mercury Pro XS when it comes to hole shot, acceleration, top speed, and reliability. And no one beats a Mercury dealer when it comes to service and support. Mercury Pro XS, the top choice of pros and those who fish like a pro. It's good to have Mercury behind you. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Guts. Glory. Ram. Evan Rood. Proven power. Proven reliability. And by Boat US. Take us with you on the water. Sunny and calm conditions greet the anglers on day two as they idle through approximately a 20 minute no wake zone to head out into Sturgeon Bay in the Bay of Green Bay. Of course, all the anglers are trying to get one of those coveted 30 pound bags we saw on day number one. We could see some topsy turvy because the conditions aren't anything like yesterday. After a great day yesterday, uh, I'm excited to get back out there and see if those fish are still hanging around. They might very well still be there but we have completely different conditions today. As you can see, we're gonna have gusts up to about one mile an hour today. So we're gonna have flat, calm conditions. I'm in really clear water, and it's almost like you're fishing in an aquarium. It makes it a little bit tougher. Those fish aren't quite as active. You just have to grind a little bit harder and, uh, and hope you can grind out a good limit out here in Green Bay. We'll check back with tournament leader Joe Okada later. For now, we'll catch up with Gillette, Wisconsin's Daniel Woodkey. Starting the day in third, Daniel's less than two pounds behind the leader. 
We're here on the west shore of Bay of Green Bay and pretty calm conditions and just fishing some offshore structure and fish seem to be fairly active here the last couple of weeks and I'm hoping that uh, we do the same thing this morning. Fish. He's right on the corner of the mall. Get him. Nice. Got him. Nice. Uh, there's Wally. This is Scott Rolla. He's in fourth after sacking up better than 35 pounds on day one. Most of your fish are coming when that bait's, I believe, actually laying on the bottom. They're pinning it. There you go. There's one. I'd actually love to watch a video of how they hunt goldies. It's gotta be what they're doing with plastic. Back on tournament leader Joe Okada. It is almost 11 o'clock right now. We still have zero fish in the boat. By the time I get up to the other spot, which is another, it's a long ways away. That doesn't give me a whole lot of fishing time because you have to give yourself a couple hours to get back with that long no wake that you have in Sturgeon Bay. So basically, we just started getting a little bit of a ripple on the water. Uh, the fish that are here are winning fish, no doubt, in my mind. I think I gotta give it another hour and then just start to scramble my way back home. There you go. Take your time netting them. Well over 10 pounds. Tom Keenan is one of the biggest names in professional right walleye there, fishing. Okay. If he Don't gets get it him, in the net, this will be his first fish of the day. And it's a good one. Yeah, yeah it is. That's a giant. Holy crap, that's a hog. That's a 10 pounder. That's a hog. Nice start of the day, baby. We just need four more of those. We win this tournament right there. Just made a move, fourth cast. Yeah. All right, you big Great girl. Fish. That's Great a big fish. One. That's a big one. Woo. Made a little move here, not very far. Um, got a little bit of a breeze that came up and maybe enough to turn these fish on along the shoreline. Good job, right. Mike. Thank you. Nice job. And back on Tom Keenan. Down into it. Oh my lord. Big goal. Oh, is he pretty? Oh my god, look at him spitting stuff. Me again. Look, look at the stuff. There you he's, go. Look, look at, at that. He just, look at the reach. Two of them. He spit out. When I was fighting him, look at the look at the net. That's amazing. Look at he look at he just spit out in the net. You want to see what they're eating? That's Elwes. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And he spit up water. on a giant one out in the water, yeah. too. He just spit out it. Well, no. He just spit out eight ounces. That's awesome. You got about 31 pounds, don't you, Tom? More than that now. With the clock ticking, we'll wrap tournament coverage and get our cameras back to weigh in. When we return, we'll crown a champion from the last regular stop of the season, right here on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. Triton Boats, the long leader in performance, fishability, and quality for bass anglers and for coastal fishermen, now offers the Fish Hunter Series, the best walleye boats anywhere. Big, deep boats built to take on rough water season after season. The 216 and the 186 boast wider transoms, cavernous storage, the biggest live wells in class, and Triton's famed lifetime limited warranty. Go ahead, make it tough on the competition. Visit your Triton dealer today. You know, one thing you worry about these days is ethanol in your outboard. One product I use is Lucas Oil Safeguard Ethanol Fuel Conditioner. And when you use a bottle of this, basically is the ability to protect and safeguard your motor. 
This five and a quarter ounce bottle will treat 25 gallons of fuel. It's perfect for marine applications. Lucas Oil Safeguard Ethanol Fuel Conditioner and Stabilizer. It's what I'm pouring into my fuel tank to help protect my investment in my big motor. Available at Cabela's. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using. Optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are. But now the silence is about to break. With the incredible new iPilot Link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other. So you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any Lake Master depth contour, and more, all automatically and all from your Hummingbird or the Link remote. They talk and you'll be speechless. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Mercury Marine. Minn Kota Trolling Motors. Anywhere, anytime. Triton Boats. We take America fishing. And by Arctic Ice. We put the cool in cooler. A lot of the anglers mentioned yesterday they wanted a little bit of wind here on day number two. Right before weigh-in, that's exactly what's happening. The wind is kicking up. It could play favor to some of the later flights. Let's find out. We had a pretty good day, you know, obviously flat conditions. The wind's blowing a little bit now, but it was until we left to come in, it was a mirror all day. And someone told me going in, I could catch what I caught today in these conditions. That's how I take it. I'm sure we'll probably end up first, second, or third. We had a great day today. And it is what it is. I mean, it's still a great day to be fishing. You know, I, I was really fortunate. I, you know, we found a lot, a lot of spots. And, uh, you know, that's how it is. The fish don't aren't always actually where we whacked them today. There wasn't a single fish there yesterday. I checked it, and they weren't there. And we pulled in there today and just uh, put on a clinic. There's a lot of dead water out there right now. There's, there's miles and miles of nothing. I had two days in practice where I caught no fish. And, uh, once we located the section of the lake that they're in, it, it's, it's been pretty easy, so. Next gentleman here had over 30 pounds yesterday. This is Ranger Avenue Pro Jason Shakur. He weighed 31.35, left this morning in 12th place. He can taste first. He can get there with a good bag. Carson is a co-angler. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you here. Settles in there. You got five, though, right, Carson? Yep. We got five. It's going to settle in. Let's see what we end up with. Our weight, 32.22. First guy with back-to-back 30-pound -back bags. Nice job, 63.57. Hold on, come back here. Is there anything in there we want to look at? We'll get a picture of them later. Get over here. Tell me, about, you're leading, man. Oh, we'll get we'll get pictures later. Yeah, exactly, Chip. Uh, what a day. Carson's his first tournament he's ever fished uh, on, on the co-angler side, and and uh, I told him it was going to be a grinder today. You know, no wind. It's going to be a little tougher, but he stuck to our game plan and just kept casting and casting and casting and casting and and we had five at about I don't know 11 o'clock or something like that and we're looking for that sixth one for about two hours and and uh, he stuck a 26 and a half that's super fat and what a way to end the day and took a nice ride in and just I'm happy this is that's what I expected going into this tournament to catch big fish like this on a, on a jigging rod and, and that's what we did. After Jason some of the best anglers in the country stepped to the scales but none could topple the pro from Stevens Point, there. Wisconsin. Boy, does that look like a good bag? All right, let's bring him up here, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gillette, Wisconsin's Daniel Woodke. Hold on one second, put it right down here, Daniel. 36.71 for you yesterday. Michael Bertrand, your co-angler, 8.49. Just so you know, Daniel, are you pumped? Yeah. You're gonna need 26.86 to knock Jason Shakurit off the first place crown. So bring it up here. Let's see Daniel Woodkey's weight on day number two, the Sturgeon Bay National Walleye Tour. Oh my word, 38.23 gives you a two day total, 74.94. Daniel Woodkey, hold on sir, put that bag down. 
That is absolutely phenomenal. Great day on the water. You are sitting in first place on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, pretty jacked. Uh, tried to keep my cool all day today and uh, trying to keep it now. Here, hold on. We're going to need a whopping bag of 39.42 to take over first. Tom Keenan, let's settle in this. Take a good look, Daniel. We're gonna see how this all works out. It's gonna settle in, give us a weight of 32, 21. Not quite enough, but good enough for second place right now, Mr. Keenan, the National Walleye Tour. Great job, sir. Put it together, Sturgeon Bay, because this is the last bag of the day. This will determine our champion. Get right over here, Joe, stay to my right. You're gonna need a weight of 36, 28 to take over first. I'm gonna keep Joe on my right. Dan over on my left. Let's pick this up, let's get it in there. Settle it down. Get in tight here, gentlemen, because somebody's about to be crowned champion. Dan Woodkey, you are a National Walleye Tour champion! <laughs> Grab a hold of this, buddy, and stand around front, because you are the Sturgeon Bay Cabela's National Walleye Tour champion! I'm speechless right now. I I work so hard at this and I've came close so many times and to, to get this close, it, it, it takes so much work. Somebody was obviously watching me today or, or helping me in some way because it, 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 took, it took everything for me to, to do this. I, I spent a lot of time out here to, to figure out these fish out and for this to happen, I, I can't believe it. Against these, these anglers, they're, they're incredible. Congratulations to Daniel Woodkey for his first win on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. He'll take home a prize package worth more than $87,000. On the co-angler side, it was Dan Neese with his first win, taking home $6,500. What's going through your mind? You just crowned co-angler co champion Sturgeon Bay National Walleye Tour. Uh, I couldn't be happier. I, I don't know what to say. Obviously, I'm at the mercy of my pros, and I couldn't have drawn two better guys. I fished with Randy Gaines yesterday and Bill Sutton today. Just outstanding fishermen. Um, great guys, and they know how to put fish in the boat. And finally, with only the championship left, here's a look at the top 20 in the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year standings. We'd like to thank the Lodge at Latham Smith. For information and booking, look them up at the lodge at ls.com. To learn how you can become a part of the Cabela's National Walleye Tour, go to nationalwalleytour.com or visit the National Walleye Tour Facebook page. This has been a Carico TV production. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.